how Beyond Scared Straight failed to prevent kids from becoming criminals. I mean, they were already criminals. That's why they were on Beyond Scared Straight in the first place, right? Isn't that how that works? Beyond Scared Straight is easily one of the most controversial shows in history. Parents of troubled youth pay for their children like to tour the inside of a prison or county no jail like so that. they can be exposed to the dark reality of life behind bars. When they Whoa. arrive, they meet with real inmates who strike fear into them with you know, threats. I saw an episode one time where it was like prevent today's a guy, teenagers his, his from dad was in there. Prisoners. But their exposure therapy techniques are definitely questionable. Why the f*** wrong you, dog? Oh my god. You were starting oh my god. the wrong way. It's Kool-Aid. We put this on bitches like you. Lick hey. your lips. Hey. Now stick your hand in that Kool-Aid. What the fuck? Just stick it in there. Oh, he a freak. Now take your finger just do this oh my to god. the bottom one. Oh my god. Come here. Oh my god. Now I kiss you. Ah. you orange flavor mother. Ah. That's the you, you bitch. Ah. You, 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 you want to do it? Man, you a hog. You want to do it? Try me. Try me. Yeah, try me. I want you to try me. I want you to try me. Try me. Now, there's no doubt that the show is entertaining what is happening? and has given us some pretty hilarious moments over the years. However, our entertainment is at the expense of children's suffering. And the craziest part is, it has been proven on multiple occasions that Scared Straight doesn't work. In fact, it might actually increase their chances of becoming lifelong criminals. Tell me, Pat. A lot of people don't realize that Fuck. Scared Straight is not just a television show on a and &E. It's a program that has been implemented all over the United States for the past 50 years. And the oh, reason real? it got so popular was based on just one alleged successful experiment. I Scared was Straight was the name of a I television mean, a documentary show. released in 1978, produced by Arnold Shapiro. It was critically acclaimed, won an Academy Award, that and Dave's, even won uh... an Emmy. See, they're gonna put lipstick on Dave's your brother? lips, earrings in your ear, and I do swishing your ass up and down these tears, hustling cigarettes for your man. What the fuck? I am not a slut, sir. What did I say, mother? You're here for two hours. You belong with us for two hours. The film it's, documented it's been the youth same way this whole time. Broadway State Prison That's in New crazy. Jersey. They met with inmates with the goal what of being so what? scared of going to prison that they went on to live a straight or crime-free life. The documentary claimed that 80 to 90 percent of the 8,000 children who visited Rawway's program would go on to remain law-abiding citizens afterwards. The popularity and surprisingly positive results led to more than 30 states rapidly implementing the program. No further questions were asked. Jails and prisons all over the country saw one doc documentary and thought they had a solution to all of their youth offender problems. The program's validity was immediately questioned by juvenile delinquency professionals, but that yeah. didn't stop it from becoming popular. They were the original they documentary were trying to was followed by out, Scared they... Straight, Another oh. Story in 1980, also produced by Arnold Shapiro. This one was just a dramatic film. The subjects were actors who did scripted reenactments of their petty crimes, which led them to entering the Scared Straight program, being screamed at, and then feeling reformed after a couple overnights in the prison. Then in 1987, what? Scared Straight, 10 years later, aired. I'll be your host for Scared Straight, 10 years later. A fascinating update on what's happened to the kids and the convicts filmed a decade ago. What I steal, I need and I want. That's embarrassing. <laughs> 10 years ago, um, yeah, I did that. I did that to look good. Now the difference is I want to look good, but I like to pay for what I take. We got to see the original 1978 crew, and they all explained what? how much the program changed their life for the better. The second half of the documentary introduced a new group of troubled teenagers. After their trip to Rahway State Prison, the documentary claimed that all 17 of the youth offenders were crime-free just three months after their visit. Then MTV connected with Shapiro for another sequel, Scared Straight 99. This documentary was potentially the most raw and 99. shocking of them all. The prisoners were threatening these kids to levels we had never seen before. One inmate made a kid hold his pocket as he walked around the cell. What? This was highly regarded as one that? of the best out of the series, and people still genuinely believe this was an effective form of therapy for youth offenders. Which makes sense when you consider the societal standard during this time period. Mental health issues that are widely known today had not been vigorously wow, studied. Be Mental black, health though. as a whole wasn't taken as seriously as it is now. Plus, it was a lot more there common no for parents to use tough there? love and physical punishment to discipline their children. These programs were seen as an extremely cheap and convenient solution to a very 
complex problem that is juvenile delinquency. But where Scared Straight received renowned media attention was when they released their 20 years later special. They claimed that of the 17 original 1978 children, only one of them became a career criminal. The 95% success rate shocked news publications. Scared Straight was a miracle solution. They used 17 people's stories for 20 years to justify this entire program around the United States. But the popular wow. A&E series you all know and love didn't come until 2011 and was produced by the same man, Arnold Shapiro. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, Let me take a Underdog selfie. Fantasy. I want to tell you about the easiest way to get in on some NBA action with Underdog Fantasy and their Pick'em game. Just find oh, your favorite player no bets out here, or Pat? any player, really. Pick higher or lower on that player's stats Tell and you can bad. win up to 20 run times your money my boy in Pat. one night. Underdog run keeps everything bad. super simple with their intuitive website and their mobile app. Pick between two to five players to fill your pick'em entry, get every pick right, and you can net yourself some serious cash. Use code PATRICKCC and get your deposit doubled oh, up to $100 go. There go. by link Underdog. Description chat. Underdog Fantasy is available in many in states across so the you U.S. Click the link Check this map to see if lit. you are in one of the eligible you states. Get that, get that mug, Again, like a mug. download the Underdog Fantasy app, use code PATRICKCC, and get those picks in. Thanks, Underdog Fantasy. Big Dick CC, so by the time most him? of us became aware of Scared Straight, it had already been a well-seasoned program all over the United States for 30 plus years. Beyond Scared Straight was a TV show that documented the experiences of troubled children as they embarked I'm on Patrick. a forced tour of a maximum security prison or jail. During the tours, inmates and officers would go to the greatest lengths, screaming, locking them in cells, putting Terrible lipstick on them, roughing up. them up. Anything they could do to shock the children and make them terrified of going to prison in hopes that it would steer them clear of a life of crime. What's up? You like to fight, homie? That's what you like to do, huh? You little bitch. You's a bitch, homie. You's a pop tart. I see right through you, homie. Oh! You, you been that stuff. You, you been it. You, 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 you a hog. You, 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 you want to go? Try me. Try you smirk at me. He says you? he don't know. Hey, yo. You can't speak up, oh, Kenny. Are you smirking at you me? Fact, bitch, you hold this. You drop it, I'll smack the out of you. I don't give a this was the most staggering and horrific scared straight program we had ever seen, and people loved it. The show's premiere alone attracted a staggering 3.7 million viewers, making it the That's most it? watched original series debut in the network's history. The Bro, undeniable success of Beyond Scare Straight fuck? led them to producing 83 episodes across nine seasons, spanning from 2011 until 2015. But the Sega most eye-opening realization this. about this show is that the Scared Straight program was proven by the federal government not to work. Since the release of the original film, Many justice institutions and criminal prevention professionals have thoroughly studied the effects of the program to determine if it actually works. Surprisingly, numerous studies have shown that the scared straight method can actually do more harm than good. The most significant study was conducted by the U.S. Department of Justice after the release of the original film. They examined the outcomes of nine controlled trials conducted from 1967 to 1992. This involved over 900 children with the average age of 15 to 17 who participated in scared straight like programs in eight different states. Also, each study was conducted by a different research team. Every one of these studies also had a control group that did not attend a scared straight program. So they were comparing youth offenders who went to scared straight versus youth offenders who didn't attend one and measured their likeliness to become a reoffender. The study found no evidence to support the effectiveness of scared straight in similar programs. In fact, all analysis showed that involved in these programs increased measures of crime and delinquency. In nearly every one of the nine studies, the group who went to Scared Straight had a higher rate of reoffense than the group who didn't go. After this comprehensive study was published, many others were conducted with different test subjects, different age groups, and different crimes. Many of the studies would produce very similar results. In 1997, University of Maryland researchers completed a report for Congress on the evidence for various crime prevention strategies. The researchers had no problem listing Scared Straight as one of the programs that doesn't work. To make things worse, these programs could potentially violate federal law. In 2002, shit. which was nine years before the first A&E episode aired, no the Office of Juvenile of Justice so and crazy, Delinquency dude. Prevention in Washington informed all states that Scared Straight programs or similar programs may violate the separation requirement of the JJDP Act. According to the Act, it is mandatory that juvenile offenders and non-offenders should not oh. be 
contained or confined in any institution where they may have sight or sound contact with adult offenders. In short, it's illegal to have kids in jail with adults, which makes this clip even harder to watch. A terrified nine-year-old boy dangled like a raw piece of meat in front of a pack of prisoners. Ah! His crime? stealing pocket change from his mom and lying. I think we can all what agree that fuck? traumatizing a child to this degree for what? stealing pocket change is insane. Then filming it, editing it, and putting it out into the world is next level. One time they even showed these children a body and described to them what their parents would experience if they go to jail and die while on the inside. The these fuck? programs typically break these children down. They what start the crying, are mortified, and just want to go home. The sad part is their home life is probably rough as well. On the surface, the concept behind these scared straight programs makes sense. Troubled kids are so afraid of prison that they change their ways to avoid such a dark future. However, I mean, there hopefully. are multiple examples that say otherwise. Toby Keith Johnson was first featured on the show on season Toby? three, episode 13. He was the quiet singer? and didn't show any emotion. Did he to be the a guards rap tried to break him down and make him feel bad about his choices, but he didn't budge. At the end, when the parents reunite with the children, Toby's mother didn't show up. Eight what months later, fuck? Toby was featured on the show again. Again. This time, he was an inmate. He was incarcerated for allegations of assaulting his mom. He got out two years later on parole, but sadly, continued a life of crime. He was arrested multiple times on meth and gun charges, but the most recent one was the worst of them all. In August of 2020, he was arrested for imprisoning a 25-year-old woman and making threats of harm, with Johnson forcefully grabbing the victim by the throat, choking her, and violently throwing her to the ground. The aggression continued with it, even going as far as Toby threatening her with a knife. Law enforcement what, would report shorty? visible signs of bruising on the victim's neck. I think it's pretty obvious that Scared Straight had no positive effect on Toby whatsoever. Hell no. Franklin Morris made his premiere really his on A&E in 2012. At the time of filming, he was living in Baltimore with his mother, Dana. In an emotional episode, Dana revealed the extent of Franklin's school suspensions, stating that she couldn't even begin to give a precise number. Franklin himself shared a nonchalant attitude towards his mother's concern, saying, My mother says I'm even gonna end up dead or in jail. I really don't pay no mind. At the young age of 14, Franklin participated in the program, already having convictions for gambling and vandalism. One gambling? of the incidents that landed Franklin a spot on the show saw Franklin and his friends wreak havoc in a store, knocking items off the shelves and vandalizing a local shop. Years after his time on the show, Franklin Morris became one of three teenagers who met a grim fate near a playground in North Baltimore. Alongside a 19-year-old and a 17-year-old, Franklin was found shot in the head and pronounced dead at the scene. What I thought about going to the jail was, it really was no big deal. The reset what? program, it didn't change me. It really don't feel no different. Bro, a Since child. the majority of the show's participants were children at the time, oh it's hard to find God. the long-term results of their lives. However, based on what I found, it seems like a lot of them went on to live regular lives. If you search what happened to so-and-so from Beyond Scared Straight, most of what you find is clickbait leading you to an Instagram page of someone who we can't confirm was actually on the show. So if the program has been proven to be ineffective through various extensive studies across that? the past 30 years, why did they do a show about it? Well, that's because the guy who has built his entire career from this program, Arnold Shapiro, is fully convinced that this program is a good thing. Shapiro says that all the extensive studies are totally irrelevant because they were done from 1967 to 1999. He also said that only the academic community believes proper counseling for youth offenders works. If society had the money or resources to do that, that would be great if every kid could have years of counseling, but it's not realistic. It would be interesting if A&E used the millions of profits from the show to get these youth offenders counseling. Since uh, society yeah, or at least the money, give them right? the money Shapiro so that they don't the have to fucking go straight. outside and There's rob and steal. It works for some. Consider it them as actors. Some, but you can say that about any program that exists. Pay them residuals Shapiro for the rest of their lives. as long as it works for some, then it justifies the program. And since the program exists, he is happy profiting off of it. He has openly admitted that the children they decide to be on the show are not the ones that they think will change, but rather the ones with the best personality. It really is based on their him? personalities and what happens with them. What we the didn't fuck have was that? any belief that we'll Brandon make T love from Michigan, who stood up to the officers and just kind of had a meltdown, would ever change. Even when the tour was over, he got thrown out, but we still picked him because it was so explosive and we never saw anything like that before or since. Although other kids have stood up to officers, it's amazing. When I went through high school or even college, you never thought you would disrespect a teacher or an authority figure, especially somebody in law enforcement. But these kids have no fear. 
It's crucial to question whether the pursuit of profits overshadows moral principles, as corporate interests often prioritize ratings and financial gain over the well-being of humans. But it makes it even worse when you consider that the people they are affecting are not consenting adults. These are children. And it's being broadcasted to millions of people to watch them suffer. They are being told that this is genuine rehabilitation, and they don't really have a choice to participate. Occasionally, they rebel so much that they get kicked out of the jail, but most of the time, they are trapped with no escape. God, the truth is, it's even wants sadder a now looking at that. I feel like I started this video so jolly. And layered social problem now I'm just that is juvenile delinquency. Sad but hey, and hurt. As long as it works sometimes, it's all good. Right? That boy Patrick, man. That boy be cooking, man. That boy be cooking.